Yo, know, what's up out there? This big E Raw TV up early in the morning, like 2.33, getting ready to prepare to go to that gym, get on my purpose and do my thing, but had some stuff on my mind, like back in the days, taking it back to like, you know, family members when they was out here hustling in these streets, you know, and all for nothing, like, you know, selling them drugs, and they didn't really have no plan. No business plan to get out of that plan. You know, they didn't get no mansion and no yacht out of selling them drugs over the years. All they did was put themselves in harm's way and danger out here in these streets. You know, getting chased by the cops and, you know, those of y'all that been in them streets selling them drugs, y'all know what come with that. You know, but there was no plan for no mansion and no yacht over the years. You know, nobody had that business mind to... Right, we're going to do this for a certain amount of years, and then we're going to get up out of here and go legit, you know, but always would try to drag me into some dumb, dumb stuff, you know, like I remember when I was 21 years old, and, you know, my cousin and them, they laying out the drug plan, talking about how I can be the lookout, and I'm 21 years old, and I just always had the mentality to know that that's not the road I wanted to travel in life, you know. All that get rich quick scheme stuff never worked for me. You know, I always had that mindset that I know where this going to lead, and that's leading right down the path to jail. And I told them one time, I said, I ain't being the lookout man for nothing. And I'll see y'all when y'all get out of jail, because I already knew that that was their destiny, and that's where they were headed for jail. You know, so no one I know. They used to hustle in the street for his family members and friends. Never got no mansion and no yacht out the deal. You know, all you got is a lot of heartache and pain and, you know, niggas trying to stick you up and cops selling the undercover cops, all the dumb stuff that they used to do. One cousin of mine, you know, we ain't gonna say no names. You know, I noticed this with them when they out there hustling. They never come through to see if a brother needs something. But when they want to come through to leave, you know, guns and things like that at the crib, you know, then they find their way to my spot. Always trying to get me involved in some dumb stuff, you know, that's going to eventually take me down. So I always had the mindset of being the wise, mature one, you know, Beyond my years, you know, 21 years old, and I had the knowledge to know that, hey, this is not a path that I want to travel down. This gets rich quick scheme is going to lead you nowhere. You're not getting no mansion and no yacht out of this. You know, you got family members that just do dumb things and, you know, putting your life in jeopardy, you know, for some get rich quick scheme that. Now, years later, when they look back on it and they say, hey, I didn't profit, I didn't get nothing out of this. You know, where's your mansion and your yacht? You know, if you ain't doing that to get a mansion and a yacht and to go legit where you can open your own business and make millions, you just out there hustling for nothing but for some Jordans and some clothes. This is what you're willing to put your life in jeopardy for? Some get-rich-quick scheme and... And another thing, how can a man be a real man when he willing to put his woman in harm's way? He want his woman to go wrap packages around her stomach and take them out of town for him. And, you know, to me, that ain't no man. You know, you're going to put your woman in harm's way to sell your drugs? You know, and that's all Big E wanted to say on this topic. You know, I had things on my mind from years ago 